Um, do you know what? We're going to start today's show with a story about a family who have recently had a baby boy. Which yes. Is well, well I'm expecting a baby well. boy too, and I've been looking for ideas for a name. Yes. It's hard. It is hard. You draw up a list, and even when you start with the baby, you're still not quite sure. Everyone's got an opinion. Everybody does. Yeah. And I'm sure everyone will have an opinion on our story coming up right now. Um, because Dan and Mandy Sheldon went to register their four-month-old son at their local council office last week, but were shocked when the registrar advised them against using the name Lucifer. Well, joining us to explain more is Dad Dan with Baby Lucifer. Good morning, morning to Dan. Both of you. Oh, look at him there. Look. <laughs> he looks very happy. Uh, now, yeah. now, Dan, I, I have to say, you know, this kind of when I was reading this this morning, it did kind of shock me. It's, it's a very bold name choice. Why, why the name Lucifer? Um, we were struggling to come up with a name, and we thought that's a nice, strong name, and um, it actually means light bringer and uh, bearing bearer of light. So we, we just like the name. It's one you'd remember, and it's not very uh, popular. So we uh, we chose that for, for a song. But you didn't have any concerns about the fact that if for those who are religious, of course, Lucifer was sent down from heaven mm -hmm. and um, it definitely has connotations to hell. Mm -hmm. Another name for Satan. But that wasn't a concern for you and your and your wife. Not this day and age. I don't think it should be a concern. We're not religious ourselves, and we think everyone's entitled to their opinion and their views. And I'm not religious, so um, I don't think it should be should be a problem, really. But um, obviously, people have got the views, and um, the council was one of them that, that, that said some very hurtful things to us. It should have been a joyous day, and it, it was very hurtful, what she said. So, well, um, yes. let's, let's let's talk about what the registrar said because. Um, she said that, I'm just reading here, it's right that she said that uh, your son would never succeed at life, that, uh, that, uh, that he wouldn't accept the meaning of Lucifer. Um, as we told our son, would never be accepted into schools, no teacher would want to teach him and no employer would ever hire him. I mean, that, that, that is very harsh, isn't it, Dan? Very, very hurtful, yeah, yes, we were. Well, we were, we were just absolutely gobsmacked, we didn't know. We didn't know what to say. We didn't know what response to give to her. We, we explained to her. We, we understand the meaning of Lucifer. And, and thank you for your opinion. But she just just carried on, and, and she wouldn't leave it. She carried on putting the, the, the subject. And uh, then at one point, she actually asked us to leave the room, but she thought that she'd, uh, she, she'd have to ask somebody if she was allowed to call it Lucifer, which I then asked, is it is it law that we can't call off of Lucifer? And if so, could we prove, could we prove that to us? You, you, you had a four-month battle, didn't you, to try to eventually make your baby's name the, the one that you wanted. Fish and he on. looks like a real bringer of light. I'll be honest with you, Dan. He looks like a beautiful boy. He's, he's so happy this morning, which is it's so great to see. But we've got to say, Derbyshire Council, and you're, I know you're still waiting for a, a, a response from the council, mm -hmm. but they've said that they felt it was their registrar's duty to ensure the couple were aware the name Lucifer had negative connotations and that their son may encounter issues with the name through his life due to its associations. But I guess you probably want everybody to know that first idea and definition behind the name, like you said, that it is, he's, he's a bringer of light. Yeah, it's just in the Christian meaning of the... The Christian meaning is, is obviously Lucifer is the, the fallen angel. Um, but before the Christian meaning, in Latin, it, it actually means the bringer of light, you know. So it, it's which bit of history you choose to, to take the, the meaning from. Um, at one point, she even referred to Hitler. Why didn't you call your son Hitler? Oh, and, um, yeah, that was um, a bit of a strange comment. I'm sorry that day wasn't as, you know, as special as you would have hoped in the, you know, in the right way. But he is absolutely beautiful and what a joy. So lovely to see him today. Thank you very much, Dan. Thank you, very much. Thank you. take care. Take care, Dan. See, it's all very hard when, you, when you're picking names. And we thought the hardest thing for our kids was just the spelling. Yeah, see, that's where I've really done my eldest like a kipper, really. She's going to be explaining how to spell Alaya for eyes, the rest of her life. There's eyes chucked in there that people might not recognise. I didn't really think about it, yeah. See, with our middle name for, for Roman, we called him Ife, which means love in Nigerian. Mm -hmm. um, but actually, you usually add on another couple of names. But I just thought, I-F-E, Portia can spell it. <laughs> Let's just keep it simple. <laughs> that is not nice. It, it, Rosh, she You're going to be in the doghouse when you get home. week to revise my careful. name for our wedding. Be so careful. she knows exactly why we decided to go with a three-letter name. <laughs> I'm going to move on because I think I should for your sake. Right. <laughs>